What is going on today, guys? It is Step On at Gaming here with another phone review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Blue Studio Energy 2. This is a really good budget phone with a tremendous battery life that will last you two to three days with a nice price tag of $179, GSM unlocked. It has dual SIMs, 8.5 megapixel camera. It also has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which I'll show you on the back. You can see how large it is. The battery is really awesome. The quick charge capability is really good. With the, everything with the battery, they did right. The only thing they could have did better was the with the specs. Um, the performance can be sluggish at times, not always, but a couple times. And you can tell it's very prone to fingerprints. I have a ton of fingerprints on it, and within 15 seconds, I just cleaned it off. Um, the thing is, it comes with 1.5 gigs of RAM. I wish you would have bumped it up to 2 or 2.5 to help with the multitasking. It has a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor, which is pretty quick. The games run pretty well, but you cannot run, you know, super high performance games like such as Modern Combat or Asphalt 8. They are a bit sluggish and require a larger download. Um, the thing that I actually thought I was going to have a problem with was the screen resolution. It's 1280 by 720 AMOLED. Uh, but I really don't have that big of a problem with it because uh, I came from the OnePlus One with the full 1080. Um, and it looked really nice. You could tell a bit of a difference if you but side by side. But just holding it in your hand is really not that big of a deal because the screen is smaller. And actually, the videos do come out pretty clear and everything looks pretty crisp. Um, the only thing I have a problem with is the Bluetooth and the speakers on the back. Obviously, a lot of phones have this, so it's not that big of a deal. It's just that you cover it when you're holding it in your hand. You'll find yourself covering it, which can be a little bit of an issue. Um, but the only other thing is the Bluetooth. I've only found this a couple times um, is where I'll have it connected to Bluetooth or I'll hold it up here or some for some reason I'd have it in an uncomfortable position. And if I ever cover from like the, the from like here up, it'll cancel out the signal or it'll mostly like muffle it and it'll lose signal and then it'll connect it and then it kind of messes up the whole thing, which can be annoying at times. If that really doesn't bother you, then that's really not big of a deal. But other than that, the phone is pretty good. I'd probably give it a solid 4 out of 5. The phone is good for the price. I just wish that other companies, uh, larger companies such as Samsung or HTC, would use this kind of battery in their you know, flagship phones. It would make it so much better. There probably is a reason that they're not using it, or maybe they just don't want to. But So that is my review on the Blue Studio Energy 2. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to leave a like down below. And if you guys want to see some more from my channel, do not forget to subscribe.